Hi everybody, thought I would just show you real quick what I've been up to here last uh, couple of days. And there's the screen, as you can see here. Um, those are all songs, uh, musical studies actually, that I have uh, created and mixed. And everything on this side, I've separated into Master Mechanics, and this part is Speed Mechanics 2, Total Picking Control. What had happened was I had developed so much material for, for speed mechanics, it got bigger and bigger and bigger, over 100 songs, and it just became too much. So I've decided, you know, to pare it back down to the original idea, which was total picking control, kind of really focused on that issue, because that's kind of the, the thing that's so difficult to really master with guitar in particular, it's the pick. So that's what that's all focused on. And then I pulled everything else out, and that's going to be master mechanics. Anyway, um, I'll give you a quick overview here. The 10 songs here, the first section is relating to time and, and strumming and velocity control, you know, because if you don't have a good master clock, you know, everything sucks. So, you know, you got to start there. And then it moves into arpeggiation. So we're going to take the momentum we got there, move it into cross string motions, get accuracy and control there. Then we move into picking, you know, single note lines, licks, you know, lead lines, and, and looking at how, how the pick uh, is involved with its format there to keep the momentum, but yet we have hammers and poles. Then uh, we start going up into section four, we go into faster tempos. So what this is, is this is broken rhythms of like heavier styles, fast picking on the lower strings in particular, you know, so that certain rhythmic figures that are repetitive, we really want to turn them into reflexes. And then the next step is to take those reflexes and then apply it to the rest of the strings to get high speed alternate picking down. So that's what this section is here, starting with tremolo picking, then timed, and then getting more and more complex about the string crossings at high speed. And then finally, part six is economy picking. So slip and sweep picking, all that stuff going on. And then part seven, which is not on there, but part seven is the, um, the tune, uh, the Amazing Grace Variations that I did with the looper pedal. That was sort of the capstone that I thought should be at the end of that. So anyway, um, finally got a handle on this. I really haven't looked at it for about a year. Um, I was just grabbing a few things from Master Mechanics um, and throwing you know, throwing stuff up, uh, you know, on Patreon here and there to kind of supplement the, the tiers. But this is really, you know, that's what this is uh, going to be. It's coming together to be really two separate methods. Or actually, Master Mechanics might actually wind up having, you know, like, modules, you know, multiple different modules. I haven't figured all that out. But in any case, um, it's taken me about 12 hours just to listen to all of it and, you know, start to try to organize it in some sense, you know. Uh, creating music uh, isn't a problem for me. I, I enjoy that and uh, I can do that all day long. The problem is to, to be an instructional author, you've got to organize it into a, some way that makes sense and then, um, you know, structure it so that it goes somewhere and, and actually teaches something other than just, you know, the music itself. So, um, you know, that's the best of both worlds is when the music's good and it's structured and it actually teaches something. So that's what I'm going for. Uh, it's, it's not easy to do, but um, I think here um, all of these audio, actually, they all have associated videos teaching all of them. So I literally had, um, I think, about 180 videos. And now I'm going to have to reshoot a lot of it, I think, because the structures are changing and everything. But it's getting there.